Hi, and let's learn some Chinese. I'm Stephanie, and welcome to my channel. In the LGBT group, June is known as their Pride Month, and the last Sunday of June is known as their Pride Day. So, on this particular Sunday, I'd like to dedicate this episode to the LGBT group, and I would like to share some of the Chinese expressions regarding LGBT group. Now, let's get started. The first word I'm going to introduce is the word gender. So gender in Chinese is called 性别, 跟我读, 性别, 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 很好. So we know 性别, now let's take a look at how to say male and female. Male is 男性, 男 means male, and 性 here indicates the gender, 跟我读, 男性, 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 很好. So female would be 女性, 女性, 女性. Now we know that 男性 and 女性, so if you want to talk about lesbians and gays, in Chinese we have a combined word, we call them 同性恋者, so in that situation you don't really know you're referring to the lesbians or gays, but then you can find out later in the context. So let's take a look at this character or this phrase. Now 同 means the same, okay? 同性, so same gender. 恋 here means love in a relationship, and then 者 here just means people. So 同性恋者 here means the lesbians and gays, and normally in daily life, we just call them 同性恋. For example, if I'm a lesbian, I would say 我是同性恋, 我是同性恋, I am 同性恋. And here in Chinese, which means lesbian, and of course in English, you translate them into lesbians. So if you want to indicate that it's a lesbian, then you could put, remember that gender we just talked about? We say female is uh, 女, so you put 女同性恋. All right, so we have 女同性恋 or 男同性恋. In general, you just call them 同性恋. So the opposite of 同性恋 would be 异性恋. So we call them, in English, we call them straight people. So 跟我读, 异性, 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 异性恋, 异性恋, 异性恋. So moving on, if you want to say bisexual, it's like in English. So we also use the word bi that part. We use the word pair, which is 双, 跟我读, 双, 双. Now you might see this happens everywhere. For example, if you want to say a pair of shoes, you would say in Chinese, 一双鞋, 一双鞋. So pair means 双. If you want to say a pair of chopsticks, we say 一双筷子, 一双筷子. So 双性恋 here means like that pair and it's parallel. So it has this idea of bisexual. 跟我读, 双性恋, 双性恋, 双性恋. Now for the trans, we call them 跨性别者. 跨性别者. Now, 跨 means to cross. So obviously they are trans people, so they have crossed that line. So we say 跨, 跨, 跨性别者. So 性别, we talked about that earlier on, which means gender. So literally just means transgender people. 跟我读, 跨性别者, 跨性别者, 跨性别者. So I just like to introduce a couple of verbs to help you to construct the sentence. For example, I've already mentioned if I want to say I'm a lesbian, then I would say 我是同性恋, 我是同性恋. Now, if I'm a man, and then of course I was going to say I'm a, I'm a gay, but then I would say still 我是同性恋. And then you saw that man, you know that he is referring to himself as gay. You saw that lady, you know that she is referring herself as lesbian. But in Chinese, you could just say 我是同性恋. 我是同性恋. Now, if you want to say, oh, my friend is gay or my friend is lesbian in Chinese, you just say 我朋友, 我朋友, or 我的朋友, both okay. 我朋友是同性恋, 我朋友是同性恋. Now, a pair of controversial words I still wanted to introduce to you with the purpose of learning the language, which is for and against, okay? So for would be 赞成, 赞成. Now you see this word happens a lot. If you're in China, you would hear the word 点赞 a lot. 点赞, so 点, 点 means to park, 
and zan means thumbs up. So dian zan, which means give somebody a thumbs up. And here, zan cheng, you can think about the same way. So I'm approving of you. So thumbs up. And zan cheng, 跟我读赞成赞成赞成 Now the other word against would be 反对反对反对跟我读反对反对反对 So 反 here means the opposite. 反对 Now, last before we go, I'd like to introduce to you how to say Pride Month and how to say Pride Day. So, Pride in Chinese is 骄傲，骄傲，骄傲。For example, 我很骄傲 ，I am very proud. 我很骄傲。And 月 which means month, 月 month. 跟我读月，月。So, Pride Month would be. 很好，骄傲月，骄傲月，骄傲月。And then Pride Day, day we can in this situation use the word 日 instead of 天 which you might hear us from somewhere. So we can say 骄傲日，骄傲日，骄傲日。Now parade is something people do a lot on this day or this month. So parade is 游行，游行，游行。Now the very last example that I want to share is. 我是同性恋，我很骄傲。我是同性恋，我很骄傲。And as always, thank you for watching. And if you think this is helpful, feel free to share it with your friends. I'm Stephanie, and I'll see you next time. And be proud.